Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. Reconciliation. An old love and interest will come back wanting to reconcile and rebuild. It may be worth hearing what they have to say, but it's up to you if you want to give them a second chance. <sighs> of course, the ex. The ex is coming back. The old love interest is coming back. Anything else that they need to know? I'm telling... Okay, so we have health and we have travel. Hmm. Expect to have a boost in your energy levels or an increase of healthy activities that will greatly improve your overall health as well as help you maintain a positive mindset. And we have travel. There could be an opportunity to travel that will break up your daily routine and also help you discover and reconsider fresh ideas you hadn't thought of before. So what does that have to do with reconciliation? We have flow. So maybe they're telling you like... For those of you that are wanting a reconciliation with a certain person, they're telling you that it's in the works. They're telling you to just let go of your expectations and go with the flow. It says you've let go of your expectations and attachments to the idea of what you thought would make you happy and learn, learning to let learning to get out of your own way by embracing the flow of life. So as you're kind of you're kind of like not forcing a situation or forcing a person to do right by you or whatever. You're kind of just going with the flow. If they're not, you know. If they're leaving or they're running or whatever, you're just kind of letting them do that. You know what I mean? But there will be an opportunity for reconciliation. But Spirit says just continue to go with the flow. And um, I feel like you're going to have some pretty good um, distractions here with travel. Like you guys could be traveling. Um, it's really going to help you. Like you're going to maybe, while you're traveling, like you're going to be maybe looking at things differently. Like be gaining a new perspective um, on the situation. And I just feel like some of you guys are going to be focused on your health. Like eating better, dieting, going to the gym or... Um, just making some healthy lifestyle changes here. Let me get one more. Okay, we have victory. Okay, yeah, you have some type of victory on the horizon. Like something you've been really wanting and waiting for is near. And for some of you, it is this reconciliation with this person. And Spirit says it's it's something you've been waiting for, for for a very long time is about to come in here for you. Just continue to go with the flow and it's coming. Yeah, you're finally getting something that you've been waiting on for a long time. A raise, a promotion, finish the project, found the love of your life or leveled up. You should be proud. So we have learning on the back of the deck. So yeah, it's almost like you were being led down a different path away from this person or you guys were being led down different paths like were, that were separate from one another, maybe for a time being, but it was to teach lessons, to learn, to unlearn and relearn. It says you are being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted ground ahead. Trade knowing for curiosity. All right. So let's elaborate on this. So what else do they need to know about the situation? So some of you guys are close to a reconciliation with somebody that you wanted a reconciliation with. And you guys, if there's nobody that you feel like you want to reconcile with, then this is probably not your reading, okay? All right, tell me more. We have Knight of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Five of Cups. The Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, that came out weird. We have the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Clarify the Knight of Wands. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, you guys were sick of somebody being a player. Yeah, you guys did really choose to release somebody. Yeah, you guys chose to... Um, somebody may be mad about this, though. Somebody's not happy about this. But, yeah, somebody was being arrogant. And there were... A, it's like you grew impatient with somebody. Yeah, I think you guys grew impatient with the situation. You're like, you know, I've waited long enough. And it's like right when you're at that point, you're like, you know what? I'm tired of waiting for this. I think I'm going to just let it go and go in a different direction. Boom. Like, that's when it's coming in. Think about the Five of Cups. The Three of Swords. Oof. There, yeah, there's definitely some type of disappointment and regret and heartache and pain here. Um, yeah, somebody definitely gave up here. Seven of Wands Raver. Somebody definitely gave up. You, This person put you through a lot. They disappointed you. This was you definitely view losing this person or the ending that occurred between you and this person as a loss. Like this was definitely something you had to heal from. Um, from what I can see here. Yeah, you you guys were tired of like being up in your head about the situation or whatever, like like yeah. So tell me about Queen of Swords. So you guys definitely are setting boundaries. Some of you guys are really not 
open to hmm, right, eh. talk about the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups, the Devil in Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. What about the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords? I don't know, guys. I just feel like you guys, you eh, you may miss this person, but you guys feel like they're toxic. You guys are thinking about, you guys are actually like, you know what's happening here? You're looking back on the past now. You know, like when you kind of step out of a situation, you're starting to see how somebody really treated you. Like, I don't feel like you maybe saw it when you were dealing with them. Like you were maybe looking at them through rose colored glasses, but now that you've kind of like separated from them, you're like, wow, this person really did me shitty as, you know, that they did me, they, they really screwed me over. Like they didn't give a fuck about me. You know what I mean? Like you guys are just like, yeah. You guys are starting to get clarity about the past events. You're seeing it for what it is now. And you just feel like this person is toxic. You guys may even feel like this person was abusive to you. Yeah. Like you just feel like you need to let it. And it's like this person couldn't make up their mind. For some of you, they couldn't make up their mind about whether or not they wanted to walk away from something toxic and offer you something solid. And they were really dragging their feet. So I definitely just keep getting this energy if you guys waited long enough. And you guys are like, no, I'm done waiting. Like, I, I, this person has put me through a lot. I can't go through anymore with this person. I got to let this go. And now, this, but this person's not trying to let you, ooh, they're definitely trying not to let you go. If you thought this person has let you go just because you guys are not speaking, that's not the case. All right, guys, this person is holding on to you. And with the world reverse, they don't want this cycle to close out. It says refusing to close out a cycle. Mm-mm. Or spirit is saying that this is not over between you and this person. There's still lessons to be learned in this. Tell me more. Yep. I feel like this person is going to have to make things right with you. Because until they make things right with you in some way, or they're going to have to get the consequence of their actions in this situation. Because until they do that, they're going to be in this energy of like lack or lack of fulfillment. Or, or they're just not never going to be happy. I don't know. Like they have to make things right with you. Balance the scales. Yeah, what about, for what they did to you. Yeah. This person did not do right by you. They definitely betrayed you or they definitely hurt you. Yeah, look at this. This person was intentionally um, being emotionally manipulative or abusive to you. They were very cold towards you or self-serving, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, somebody's starting to feel intuitively that you have options and that you have maybe you're maybe like moving on to new love or you found new love and they feel like you're about to be a missed opportunity yeah so just know this person still hasn't moved on from something I, or i don't see the situation improving or being any better anything else i need to know before i move on you could be dealing with a pisces cancer or a scorpio yeah what about the nine of pentacles in reverse the queen of wands what's that have to do with my collective the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, this person's not really trying to come in and offer you anything. For some of you, this person's not even single. There's another person that they're still attached to. Yeah, the Queen of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're like financially dependent on somebody or they're in a relationship with somebody else. Yeah, they could even have another person around them that's jealous. With this Nine of Pentacles in reverse and this Queen of, Pen Queen of Wands, they could have a fire sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but um, they could have somebody around them that is jealous yeah that they have some type of superficial connection with um but yeah just know this person can't really offer you commitment and they're really not trying to come towards you with their feelings and emotions like either they're whatever they're coming towards you with it's going to be a disappointment again and that i can see that they've already disappointed you so yeah i feel like they see someone's getting a new this is you guys who once couldn't see something so couldn't see the truth about this divine masculine, or I don't even want to say divine. I'm just going to say this masculine or this feminine. You guys used to think you could manifest something with this person. Now you guys don't really feel that way anymore. Your, your perspective is changing. Um, There's time to use this deck. Tell me more about what's going on here.
We have manifesting you. <laughs> Wants you back moving into alignment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the magician was on the back of the deck. Somebody is trying to manifest you. Let's see. What was on there? But somebody is maybe trying to get you to come back to them. Let's see here. The moon. Somebody wants a reconciliation with you. Yep. What about the Eight of Cups, though? What's this have to do with my collective? The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. The Ace of Cups. What's that have to do with this person? Strength. <laughs> Leo energy. Rejection. This person's still trying to hold back, but it's time. It's time for what? They, Spirit says this person has held back long enough. So what I'm kind of getting from this already, guys, is that this is somebody that you're supposed to have something with. Because why? One, two, three, four on the camera. Why is it? It's like something like the spirit is saying, uh-uh. They, I gave, we gave them the opportunity to, to do the right thing and to go down the right path and to make the right choices. They're still not doing it. So now we're going to intervene because spirit says it's time. We have it's time. This card is about divine intervention. It says no more running. This person has been resisting this connection because of their ego for too long. So, and yeah. Trying to tame their emotions, suppress their emotions, having all they have all these obstacles too. But I definitely feel like what what happened here was that you were supposed to walk away from this situation and focus on like yeah, just be free and independent, focus on yourself. And for some of you, open up to the possibility of new love because this person's about to try to come in and make amends with you. Clarify manifesting you. Not, see what is the manifesting you? divinely guided yeah i'm telling you page of swords they're watching you they feel drawn to you seven of pentacles divine timing see there is going to be some type of like it's like they in the long run they do want something with you but it's like yeah patience is needed surrender to the unknown that's what you need to do why is what's page of cups here you're going to receive a message from this person yep ace of swords what about this ace of swords healing accepting to grow self-care healthy choices yeah See, I do feel like you're going to hear from this person, but you guys are in this energy. Like I already mentioned where you guys see everything clearly now and you see what's healthy and what's toxic. You know what I mean? And it's like wishing, devil, obsession, destructive habit or love. Yeah, they're still toxic. They wish for, they're wishing for you Capricorn energy with the devil, but they're, well, what about the page of cups? You're going to hear from somebody. See, what about this queen of wands? Three of Wands, next day, exploring the unknown. What's going to do with this person? King of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign. You're dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What about Queen of Wands and Temperance, Patience, Harmony? I don't understand. What's this going to do with my collective? Hiding feelings. I see them approaching you guys, I'm not, but I don't see them wanting to. They're still coming towards you very cocky or egotistical, and you guys are going to end up leaving this person out in the cold. Mm -hmm. Or you're not going to know if you want to even entertain this. What is this person's intentions? Um, What do I want to use here? Tell me more. Tell me more. We have beauty and grace. They find you extremely beautiful. So you're probably this queen of wands. I told you. They probably they feel very drawn to you. I still feel like they have another person though. Mm-hmm. Beauty and grace, they find you extremely beautiful. Your beauty, your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. Lord. Play more. This person's definitely afraid to come towards you, especially if you're out here looking good and confident and happy and you're, you know, successful. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to come towards you. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. What did I say? This person feels like you're starting to get attention. They know how beautiful and attractive you are. They see you putting yourself out there possibly because they're definitely watching you. Um, they may even see you getting attention from other people. And it's like, they feel like they need to do something more. They got to step up their game because, you know, coming apart. <laughs> so this person's ego, this ego person's ego is crumbling and dying. 
I'm telling you, meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Yep. I knew it was going to come out. I knew it. I saw it. Message. I know. I, I already saw it. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. So for some of you, they're just watching you from a distance and not reaching out to you yet. Just kind of like suffering in silence because they know that like you're maybe not, you're in this Queen of Swords energy. They know that if they come back, you're going to be in this Queen of Swords energy. They may also know that you know something or you have clarity about something now. Um, and they know that if they kept, they're coming towards you, that they can't manipulate you. They can't lie to you. Like they know that. We did have the High Priestess. They may know that you're intuitive. Yeah, at last. They don't want you want you to give up. I'm telling you, they don't want this to end. They don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. So they kind of feel like you guys have built something. You guys have been through a lot and they just don't want, they don't feel like, they don't want to like throw away what you guys have or something like that. I don't know. But we have dreams. They've been dreaming so much about you and want to manifest their dreams into reality. So if even this person wasn't telling you, they had like a vision for the future with you. Like they did envision a future with you. And things they wanted to do with you in the future. And it's like now they're sorry. They always maybe thought at some point that that would be a pop. That would be what their future would be like at some point. Like I said, they did like want to be with you in the long run. But now they're starting to feel like that possibility is dwindling. Like you don't maybe want that anymore. You're getting away from them. Somebody else is see lustful desires. I just saw. But it flipped back over. We have healing. This person maybe has an issue with lust. Temptation. But we it, it flipped back over and then healing came out. So they may be healing that part of themselves. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. I told you, it's like almost like this person is actually like a part of their, their karmic cycle or something like that. Is to have to come back towards you and to balance things out with you. Take accountability for their actions or to do something here. I feel like it's like that's maybe what is going to really close out the cycle or something like that. Or, yeah, they have there's something that they have to do as part of their karmic cycle or their karmic debt or whatever. It's like they got to like come in and do right by you. Make up for what they've done. Now, you don't have to take them back, but they still have to do it. Like, you know, they have to take accountability here. You have past life. Their soul recognizes their soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they've been waiting for. Yep, didn't I say this? Watching you. They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clues to how to approach you. So, right now, they're kind of just trying to figure out how to message you or what to say to you. Yeah, see, I told you, this person has, like, some, they, they have an issue with, like, being, from like, lust or, I don't know addictions they have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side but too afraid to show you haunted their vivid dreams haunt them they dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else heavy on the them being like you know being haunted by the thought of you being with somebody else or moving on with somebody else you guys definitely threw in the towel when it came to this person you're like i give up i don't know that i can't i can't go through this anymore so yeah you started realizing that you were losing, you were fighting a losing battle. You couldn't force this person to change. You couldn't force them to see how they were hurting you or what the two of you could be together. All those things like you and you, you, you came to a point where you needed to, I feel like part of your lesson here was you realizing that you to stop being self-sacrificing here and to never like lower your standards for anybody. Like if, if somebody feels like you're too good for them and they want, they, they're trying to lower you or dim you. No, you need to require that if they want to, you need to require that they, they rise up to meet you at your level. So now you're kind of in the same energy, not like really doing, maybe some of you guys aren't doing this on purpose, but it's like, you're in this energy now where you're like, you know, uh, -uh like now I'm gonna be guarded too. And I have to be with this person because they put me through this, this and this, you know what I mean? I have 10 swords in my back from dealing with this person. I can't just let my guy to, they have to really prove themselves to me or maybe not at all. You know what I mean? So it says until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. I just don't feel like this person is going to like this new guarded, clear headed, um, awakened version of you because that's the version of you that they're not going to be able to have access to or unless they get their shit together you know what i mean unless they step up and they want to be honest with you and themselves and they want to confront their feelings and their demons and change like and they're not going to like that but it's like almost like this is what needs to happen this is part of the divine intervention forcing this person to like, it's like the divine says that this has been going on for too long. Like, it's like they're intervening now because they, they're saying that this has been, they've given this person enough time to, and it's, you know, the thing about it, guys, is that like when the divine gives you the opportunity to make some changes, they show you something over and over again, they'll give you some time. You know what I mean? And 
They'll show you exactly what you need to do or they'll give you those feelings and those nudges. But when you ignore it for too long and you and especially if you're doing something shitty to somebody or like and you keep doing it and you just keep ignoring it, it's going on too long. Then they send in a tower. OK, they send in a tower moment for you. And guess what? Towers are usually not fun. All right. It's almost like it's a lot worse when the divine intervenes than when, if you know, versus them giving you the opportunity to make these changes and do what you you know you're supposed to do and stop doing wrong and all things. If you do it yourself, it's a lot easier than when the divine intervenes and sends you a tower. Um, and unfortunately, this person is getting a tower because they have done too much to you. They have kept they've drug drug this out too long. I just saw two 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 on the camera, which. Um, is actually about going with the flow and keeping the faith. And I'm telling you, they're telling you, you got to just go with this flow. This person, whatever they're going through right now, um, is what they need to go through. All right. Um, it's almost like this person's got to learn the hard way type thing because they're freaking stubborn and hard headed. Um, 